Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steven Kovic. Here we do a lot of apartment tours, a lot of home tours, and we are starting some design things and DIY stuff as well. So I'm gonna keep it fresh here. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can to diversify my channel, but I do love real estate, I do love design, and I do love uh, DIY things. So I'm learning. This is kind of like one of my first talking videos like this. So thanks again, and if you're new here, thank you. If you're old here or older, because everyone's kind of new, but uh, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about six things to help uh, decorate your apartment, design your apartment, or just like little hacks and things to make it more cohesive and give it more of an elevated style. Now, I'm not an expert. I'm not an interior designer, interior decorator, interior stylist. I have none of those things. I'm just a guy that likes it. I pin things on Pinterest boards. I save things on Instagram. I just feel like I've done a reasonably good job, I like my space, I feel good in my space. People that come into my home say they like my space, so I'm taking that as a compliment and feeling like I could share a little bit of knowledge with you guys if you want. So let's just dive into it. Tip number one, this is sort of my favorite one, but is building upwards. So that means is creating the illusion that the space has higher ceilings or is a lot larger. So even behind me right here, which is kind of now my like video focal point wall, is what I kind of did. So I ended up using a really literal elongated uh, statue head, which is so long and skinny. And by building that up, I placed it there with um, a picture frame and even a decanter, which may, I'm probably not gonna stay there, just put it there the other day. But what you do when you walk into the space, it's kind of the first thing you see when you walk into my apartment and it kind of draws your eye up. And what I also did too is I have two lamps as well. One is a floor lamp, one is a table lamp. And the table lamp is sort of beside the couch here and the floor lamp is on this side. And then when you walk in as well, your eye kind of goes from the table lamp to the floor lamp and all the way here. So there's kind of a journey with your eyes. And again, you look out through the window so the space feels a lot bigger and larger when you walk in. And that is sort of what I wanted to do. And it also gives your eye a little bit of decor and things to pick at. Um, and it's just like a little conversation starter and stuff too, so. Tip number two is using lighter furniture or accent pieces. Now this one is really important too, and I had to learn this because I did upgrade my space into the unit that I'm in now, but before I was in the same building, but a different layout and it did not feel as large. It felt really small and I actually had some pieces of furniture that made it feel bulky. So I was trying to find ways to offset that and make it feel larger for which was a small space of 512 square feet. So what I did was is using lighter pieces of furniture or accent pieces. So by default, I got a lighter couch. It's a little bit of a neutral color. So it's like a light beigey gray kind of white. I didn't want a flat color, I wanted something with some texture in it, but that's kind of what I used because it was the big sort of centerpiece of my room was my couch. And if you're living in small spaces, like a lot of us are in a lot of cities, but in Vancouver in particular, you don't have a ton of space and you have to sort of maximize it and do what you can. So that's when this sort of lighter furniture stepped in and also using accent pieces around my home to really make sure that it also um, there's a cohesive theme going throughout the space, but also those lighter pieces to kind of pop out and make the space feel brighter because I really was challenged with a really dark kitchen and dark floors. Um, that also goes with getting a rug or something else with a lighter color. Rugs are huge for doing that because um, it's a huge, it takes up a huge piece of surface area in your space, um, which is funny because I don't actually have a rug yet, but I'm working on it and I'm hoping to get one soon. I just did some measurements trying to order, but everything's back ordered until September. So I'm like so impatient that I'm like, I cannot wait till September. So I'm going on Facebook Marketplace looking for some things like that, but that has been really, really helpful. And I can't wait to sort of see a rug in the space because I think it'll really make my living room pop. So moving on to tip number three is colors and textures and plants, okay? Also, I keep looking back at my book because I'm just like, what did I write down? What were my like points? Um, so this kind of goes with the lighter colors and also keeping your color scheme or some keeping, blah, 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 keeping it sort of neutral in palettes and creating a little bit of a texture and a storyline in your space. So for me, like I said, the couch has a little bit of a canvas sort of texture to it and that was really important for me. So it adds a little bit more life to your space. In addition to that was also adding plants. Now I am not a plant person. There are so many people that love plants. I had a fig leaf, fig leaf tree, totally killed it. 
Uh, I have this really great tree, if you can see it on this side. It's not even a tree, it's like a bushy thing. It is the best thing ever, I love it. I give it positive affirmations every single day. I love you, you're doing so well. And probably because it requires so little work. I water it once a week or once every like 10 days. It is so easy maintenance. I got it at, um, um, where did I get it? Somewhere in Vancouver. Uh, I think Old Faithful Shop or Gascon, if you're familiar with Vancouver. But yeah, it was so great. They were so helpful, and this is exactly what I wanted. So I don't have a lot of plants in my space, but adding more life to your apartment, you can do that with plants if you like plants, by all means. But also adding those lighter colors and also using texture and things. Like even my ottoman that I have too, there's like knots in it. It's a little bit of texture as well. Almost kind of feels like a wool. And I've done that with like rugs and certain patterns and things like that in my space. Um, so, you know, like a, like, a, like a throw that has a texture in it as well, a little bit of a pattern. Also on my bedding in my living room. So I feel like those things go, are really, really important because it just adds like some kind of uh, feeling to your space. Like I can touch something, it's tangible and it feels good. I think, I feel like I've gone into other apartment tours or seen other apartment tours, sorry, and seeing other spaces come together and I find that it's so easy to go into a space and go white, 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 white couch, white this, white that. And I feel that sometimes it can feel a little sterile. So you have to be careful how you use like a bunch of the same color. So I think you can offset that really well by adding, like I said, plants and adding just some texture into the space, um, which would, I think, go a really long way. Okay, so tip number four is a fun one. So it's called renting pieces. Um, so this is actually fun because I worked with a small local brand here in Vancouver. This video is not sponsored by the way, I just really, really like them. They're called Abacus Studio. So they actually rent and swap furniture pieces from actually really high-end retailers like Article, Structube, and I believe Rogue Concepts. They might have a few other pieces now since, um, since I last like, worked with them. Um, but they're really, really great because you can find these pieces, put them in your space for a small monthly payment, and then swap it out if you don't like it, or actually buy it out. So once your contract is up, let's say it's six months or 12 months, you can swap out your lamp. For example, I have this floor lamp from Article, and you can easily just swap it out if you don't like it. So it's not for everyone. I had a, um, a lot of people ask me questions about it before. If you're looking for a space, you're just moving in, and you can't commit to all this furniture right away, especially the larger pieces. I might even have a promo code and stuff anyways from before, but I'll link it down below if you are interested or put their information down on our website or whatever so you guys can take a look. But it's, um, and they're so nice. The people that do it are so, so sweet. They come to your space, it's all set up, and they're nice, and I just love chatting with them. So just my little tip. <laughs> okay, so tip number five is you gotta go thrifting or you gotta go online thrifting or doing something but it's always from Facebook Marketplace. I'll go on Facebook Marketplace, you type it in, and you type CB2, you type West Elm, you type um, Article, whatever retailer you're looking for, type it in into Facebook Marketplace. Increase your range a little bit so you can, you know, if you have a car and access to a car, that you can go a little bit further out to get pieces, let's say, like again, I'm in Vancouver. So, you know, I might put my range up to Burnaby or Langley or Surrey, depending on what I'm looking for, but, it is so helpful. I got my coffee tables from West Elm in amazing condition. Full price is like five or $600, got it for like 200. So I felt like I got such good deals. I mean, there's some CB2 like decor pieces that I got for like 20 or 30 bucks and they go well over a hundred. And in theory, yes, they're still expensive. Like I bought this vase or this bowl the other day for 50 bucks. And someone's like 50 bucks. And I was like, yeah, but it's from CB2. <laughs> and anyways, um, still a little pricier for like a small decor item that's just on a shelf. But considering that it's like $200 or $180 at CB2 full price, I was like, you know what? I'm happy with this. It's a little bit worn, but I kind of like it. It adds a little more texture, which is, you know, a little more life to it. So I do like that. And thrift stores as well. I'm not a big like thrifting person all the time, like, but I do have a thrift store right beside where I live. And I do go in there on occasion. I bought a few pieces or small things there. I bought a vase actually recently with $6. It was a high gloss chrome and I hated it. But I was like, I'm gonna like spray paint this with that like texture spray paint. And now it looks like a clay hand sort of, um, uh, not hand drawn, what's the word? Like handmade uh, piece of art. And everyone always comments on it. They're like, where'd you get that? Someone even actually said, is that from CB2? Cause I think they think I have a lot of their pieces in my home. Um, but it wasn't, I made it myself for six bucks. Well, 18 because I had to buy the spray paint. But take your time. That's my other tip too, a part of the same one. Take your time really live in your space and really feel what you need because it's so easy to get wrapped up in the things that you need right away. 
take your time, take a beat, enjoy the space, figure it out, really see what you need and where things are going to go. Okay, so tip number six, um, I don't know why I just did this. Tip number six is uh, make it you, personalize it, do your own thing with it, make it fun. I mean, the one thing I'm adding is like pictures and things like that that can really personalize the space and the artwork that you want to put on your walls. I'm still waiting to do those things and, but even just like little family photos and things like that, I have not done yet, but I want to put around and make it more like, here's my mom and here's my sister and my dad and my dog and all that kind of fun stuff to really just make it like somebody lives here, you know? Uh, so that's kind of the fun part and that's when you get to do that when you like get into a space, really make it for you or if you're living with a partner or whatever the case is or roommates, really kind of do what you want to do to make the space pop for you. This video is coming out probably around cancer season. So cancers, we just love our home. We love our space. We want to feel welcome, we want to feel protected. And I just feel like that also goes with that. So um, yeah, just do it for you. It's the best thing. I love my space now. I think when I lived with roommates, I like liked my space, but it wasn't for me. I felt like I wasn't really like represented in the apartment that I lived in. And now I'm like, this is so me. Like I love being here now. You have to like pull me out of my house to get me to leave because I'm like, go where? At the beach? No, I wanna, I wanna sit in my home. <laughs> like, uh, the beach is still really nice, I do wanna say. But, um, so that's a really big one for me as well. I should make it personal and you, that's it. So I only gave six tips. I, maybe I'll do more in the future as I discover more things or find things that I wanna share with you guys. I still wanna do some like DIY makeover things that I'm working on. My den video that I've talked about for so long is like, almost done it's painted and stuff it's just i'm missing a few pieces and going back to not rushing it i'm trying not to spend all my money on doing the den so it's kind of on a pause until i can pay for the piece that i want which is actually from ikea um but i'm still trying to find it online first if i can find it some, you know, cheaper or more affordable piece i should say so thank you guys if you watched this much if you learned anything let me know like i said i'm not an expert i'm just sharing things in my space that i've done if you find this of value, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, more videos will come, likely more apartment tours and things like that. But yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bye.